Hi St. Peter friends, back with another Sunday School lesson. We're finishing up the Gospel Project for Kids with this Volume 1. And today, as a good reminder, our stories have all been told, of course, based on God's Word, the Bible. Today our story again comes from Genesis, but let's look back a little bit at what we've done in the weeks past talk about. At the very beginning in the Bible, we learned that God is our creator and king. We learned that when sin came into the world, God already had plans. Plans to deal with sin by sending his son. And then we learned about Abraham and his family, including his son Isaac. We learned that we can trust God because he is faithful. He does everything for his glory and for our good. We have seen these truths continuing through the life of Isaac's son, Jacob. God's promises to Abraham had passed on to Jacob. This week, we will see more of God's faithfulness in our story. It is called Jacob's New Name. <clears throat> Glad you're with us. Jacob took his family and all his possessions. He left the land of his uncle Laban and headed home to Canaan. Going home meant that Jacob would see his brother Esau again. And Jacob was afraid. He was afraid that Esau would still be angry with him for stealing his blessing. Do you remember that? The firstborn Esau, Jacob the second, stole his blessing. So Jacob sent messengers to tell Esau that he was coming. And when the messengers came back, they told Jacob that Esau was coming to meet Jacob, and he had 400 men with him. Jacob was very afraid. God had promised that his family would be as numerous as the stars. But how could that happen if Esau was going to kill them all? So Jacob made a plan. He divided his family into two groups. If Esau attacked one group, maybe the other group could escape. Then Jacob asked God to keep his promise. Jacob prayed, Please rescue me from my brother Esau. Jacob sent a large gift of animals, goats, sheep, camels, cows, bulls, and donkeys to try to make Esau happy. Maybe then Esau would forgive him. That night, Jacob moved his family across the stream where they might be safer. But Jacob stayed behind and a man appeared. The man was actually God himself. The man wrestled with Jacob all night. Jacob refused to give up. So the man, God, injured Jacob's hip. Let me go. The sun is coming up, the man said. But Jacob would not let him go. Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Your name will no longer be Jacob, said the man. Your name will be Israel. Because you wrestled with God and men, you have won. The man blessed Jacob. The sun came up and Jacob limped because of his hip. Now Jacob looked and saw Esau and his 400 men coming to meet him. 
Jacob went to meet Esau. He bows down seven times to show respect to his brother. And then Esau ran to Jacob and hugged him. He was not angry anymore. The two brothers cried together. Esau returned to his home. Jacob and his family traveled on to Shechem. And Jacob bought land for them to live on. He was finally home in the land God had promised him. All right, my friends, before we end with our prayer with that lesson today, we're going to take a look at our gospel project. Your lesson leaflet that you follow every week at home. You begin always looking at that big picture. We've completed our volume one. Let's start here where we begin our Bible stories with God creating the world. God created people, sin entering the world, following the timeline, Noah and the ark, the Tower of Babel, the suffering of Job, God's covenant with Abraham, Abraham and Isaac, Isaac and Rebekah, God's promise to Isaac, Jacob and Esau, Jacob and Rachel, and the last one, volume one, Jacob's new name. Right. Jacob's new name. Here's something interesting before we pray, actually. Oh, goodness, I'm sorry. Let's, let's look back at that lesson leaflet. There are always worksheets in the back. I'm sorry, forgot about that here. This one here, we'll talk a little bit more about, but remembering always on the back side, there's that coloring sheet. The story point, God changed Jacob's name to Israel, the name of God's covenant people. We are God's children. So I hear this part. Goodness, I almost forgot. What's in a name? In the instructions here, use the letters in Jacob and Israel to form as many new words as you can. So glad I have that. It's always fun in here. This is what I almost forgot about. So always there are summaries here that you can look over with your family. The big picture question. This is not going to be what we look at each time in the future. So the last time we're looking at this together. Does God keep his promises? Yes. Don't ever forget that. God always, <clears throat> he always keeps his promises because he is faithful. Always. And now here, family discussion starters. Why did Jacob wrestle with God? So here from the story, interestingly, Jacob always seemed to be working on his own plans. He always seemed to have an idea. Instead of resting, trusting God's timing, the good plans, God has for him. And here's another question. Do you ever wrestle with God? It's a good question to think about and talk about. And then the last one before we pray. Who can change our lives and give us new identities with God? A lot I'm going to read here to share about that. Of course we know Jesus is the one, right? Jesus came so that we might have a changed life, forgiven of sin. Jesus' death and resurrection provided us the way to be adopted 
into God's family. We are his. When we are adopted into the family of God, we also receive a new name. Children of God. We can rest in his love and trust his plan for our lives and his plans for the whole world. God is faithful. He promises to always be there for us. So let's pray about that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for growing Jacob's family and making him into a great nation. Thank you for using the nation of Israel to send Jesus to save us from our sin. Help us trust him and live for your glory. Amen. Have a great day.